Crystal Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. In today's video, we're going to be talking about West Potomac High School located here in Alexandria, Virginia. If you're looking for a new home and school and you have a high school, there are a couple of questions you're probably asking. Um, namely, what programs are available at the school? What are the ratings and reviews? Um, maybe questions about the size of the school. So in this video, I'm going to answer those questions as well as a couple of others. So if you're interested in finding out more information about West Potomac High School, stay tuned. So West Potomac is, has about 2,500 students enrolled each school year, and it serves the 22306, 22307, and 22308 zip codes. Now, Fairfax County has made it pretty easy for you to find out if the home you're looking for is in the West Potomac High School Pyramid. If that information is not found in the listing, you can actually uh, locate, you can actually check out the Fairfax County Boundary Locator, put the property address into the locator, and it'll tell you exactly which school your child will be zoned to from elementary school all the way through high school school. So if you're looking for a home in Groveton, Hydla Valley, Collinswood, Holland Hills, or Wainwood, chances are you will be assigned to West Potomac, but we always advise our clients to check out the, Fair, excuse me, the Fairfax County Boundary Locator to make sure you're 100% looking at the right school. Now, as I said, West Potomac has about 2,500 students, and that's going to be from grades 9 through 12. Most students attending West Potomac will have attended Sandburg Middle School. So if you're new to the area, you may not know that the Fairfax County school year typically runs from about the last week of August into mid-June. Another thing you may be unaware of is the what the typical class day looks like. So in Fairfax County, all middle schools and high schools operate on a block schedule. So that means rather than attending six or seven classes a day for 45 minutes to an hour, the classes alternate throughout the week and each class period is going to be for one hour and 30 minutes. As kids get older, they seem to have more input on what schools they want to go to. They're looking for specific programs. You know, if you have a kid who's moving from another high school, then they may be a world language. They may have been taken in another school and they would love to continue taking that. Or perhaps they have an interest in a specific sport or program and they hope to continue, uh, continue on with that even at the new school. So in this part of the video, I'm going to go over some of the different programs and classes that are available at the school. And after that, we'll talk a little bit more about the athletics and aftercare pro after school programs. So as far as foreign languages go, every high school in Fairfax County has French and Spanish. And then there are a few schools in the area that offer additional languages. And I think West Potomac might offer the most. In addition to French and Spanish, they also offer German, Arabic, Chinese, Korean, and Latin. Um, so they have seven foreign languages offered at West Potomac High School. And again, if your child is interested in something like that, or if they are transferred from another school, this may be, may be of particular interest to you. Another thing about West Potomac is it is one of the few schools in the area that has a junior ROTC program. They have an Army ROTC program at West Potomac. And when I say one of a the few, there are only eight schools in Fairfax County. Mind you, we're 24 high schools, but there are only eight schools in Fairfax County that offer a junior ROTC program. And along with the junior ROTC program, or part of the junior ROTC program at, uh, at West Potomac, they have a rifle club and also a drill team that are part of that program. If your child is interested in music, there are a couple of different programs available, whether it be band, strings, choir, uh, drama, theater. There are a couple of different programs available if you have a child that's interested in performing arts. And let's say you have someone who's interested in media, there are three different publications uh, that are put on th by the students at the school. So they have a school newspaper, a school magazine, and also a school yearbook. All of those are things that your child can sign up for as an elective. Now, outside of the classroom, there are a couple of other organizations your child can get involved in that, nece that won't necessarily be part of class time. That's going to include Student Government Association, Debate Club, Key Club, Model UN, and also a couple of National Honor Societies. If your child is a student athlete, one thing I can say is if your child played a sport at another school, chances are there's going to be a team for that sport here at West Potomac. Um, there are almost 20 sports teams at West Potomac, and it's going to have your, you know, the running mill, basketball, baseball, football that you have at every school, but also a dive team, golf, wrestling, field hockey. So chances are if your child is interested in athletics, there's going to be a sport for them at West Potomac. The last thing I want to cover is going to be ratings and reviews. I don't go into ratings and reviews too much in this video, and that's because ratings and reviews change year over year, whether it be because test scores have improved or declined, graduation rates change, and also parent satisfaction changes. Um, and because of that, ratings and reviews can fluctuate from one year to the next. 
So what I'm going to do is point you to the West Potomac High School page on the Ask A Walker website. It's going to be linked down below. There you're going to find the most recent information about ratings and reviews, but you're also going to find a link to the Fairfax County Boundary Locator in case you're wondering if your home is zoned for West Potomac. I do hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.